It's Katie and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If so, you can subscribe. The button is always down below. Post video lifestyle, panning, and more. And welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. I wanted to do like a, I guess, holiday look um, and stuff and just like a sort of like get ready me. I did chat about a few things. So so stay tuned to see that. Um, but I love how this look turned out, by the way. And so if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so on to the makeup. This is technically my first, no, this is my first Christmas look of the season. Crazy to be here on day 19. Uh, took me long enough, but I'm super excited and I don't have any of the makeup on, of course. Bare face. So let's get into the makeup. So primer, I'm gonna use the Milani Skin Crutch Primer. Um, again, I haven't used this. I think I used it a couple days ago. I'm gonna scrub. But this stuff really does make your makeup last, which I like. It's hydrating, which I like. It's a good primer. I do really like it. It is a little bit like thick, but I do like it. Um, and stuff. I've seen a lot of people showing like their makeup collections and what's in their collections. I don't think I'm gonna do that during Vlogmas, but I think early 2021 I'm gonna do like separate videos for each section of my collection because if I did one video just for everything but my eyeshadows, that would be a long ass video <laughs> and stuff. But I am, within the next couple days, gonna show you guys my indie brand like single shadow collection, which I'm very, very excited about. So that's kind of sunk in a little bit. So for foundation today, I'm gonna use my ABH Luminous Foundation. I haven't used this in a few days, so I'm excited to use it. I don't know if anybody else's bottle is like this, but the pump, when you press it down, it doesn't like, it doesn't go back up. It doesn't retract, I guess. So it's kind of annoying. You have to like push it up. I don't know if it's just my bottle or if that's just like a thing but it's really annoying and stuff. I'm also gonna use this video to like chat about a few things because I forgot to mention them in my original Chat Chat Ready Me that I did earlier in Vlogmas. So one thing I wanna talk about that I didn't talk about in that video is the fact that the Catrice, and I did mention this on my Instagram stories a couple days ago, Catrice is pulling out of Ulta's to focus in on like their own i guess parameters areas whatever you want to call it like their own focus i guess um so they're gonna be selling specifically on amazon and their own website which i'm kind of like irritated not irritated that's not the right word it's like just makeup um it's not that serious it is kind of annoying i guess is a better way to put it um just because like i like i love Catrice, but will i necessarily buy from them all the time being on amazon and ulta or amazon and their website probably not so it is kind of like sad and a little bit annoying i did want to try like they have a luminous foundation i want to try that and then my holy grail like foundation from them is the um is their like dropper foundation. I really liked that foundation. I miss it. So I'm probably gonna have to order stuff from them soon and stuff because I loved that. And I am going to, but I'm gonna also use that because I want like more coverage in that area of my face. And then maybe also like there and around my nose. This one's not like super full coverage, but it's gonna give more coverage in a sense and i like this combo actually i use this combo a lot it just gives like a glow and this is the makeup you're gonna see in tomorrow's video which is gonna be my deck of panning finale which is crazy i'm so excited like more excited than i sh should be for project pan finales and i'm excited for that project next year as well that is a spoiler that is probably one of the projects it will be no, I know I'm going to participate in that because it was such a fun project and I loved that project. It would be weird filming a video and not um, drawing cards. I'm going to use my Tarte 
ultra creamy concealer um it's gonna be weird for sure filming a video not drawing anything it's gonna be so weird and stuff but i'm super excited for that finale i'm gonna try and use some of those products um in this video um just because i wanted to get like i guess like final usage on those products and stuff like i just want to continue progress and that kind of stuff with all that stuff sad about catrice leaving alta like they have basically nothing so i am probably gonna place an order on their website i think i'm gonna do that after christmas i'm kind of like thinking about it in my head and kind of regretting it because i have like i don't know how many foundations i have but should i really be buying more foundation probably not it's probably not a good move katie but i'm gonna but am i gonna do it heck yeah so i just really want to try them so now i'm gonna put on a little bit of my light lock i love this highlight and stuff and it just happens to be in the dop deck of panning so i'm gonna put a little bit of this on i just love the glow that this gives and i'm gonna focus on the dop products today just because i'm filming the finale today i'm filming it like two days early but that's just because christmas week is going to be crazy as a retail worker i'm not gonna have time to film like the only days i don't have time to film is today and then on monday um before i have to head into work luckily that day i don't have to go in mid like super early which even 11 30 i would have time to film because i'd be like putting on makeup and like taking it off which is what is, i'm gonna do on monday but at least i don't go until 2 30 so i can survive so that's like a better i guess time frame i'm now gonna take the putty bronzer which i haven't used in a few um i don't use it all the time but i do want to use a little bit of this just to add warmth to my face a bit so i just kind of dip a brush in and then just make sure to blend a little bit i do it around my nose under the lip kind of just to warm up the face just a smidge and then i of course always go in with a sponge after and i'm gonna take the huda beauty powder and just put that around my eyes to set that's like pretty much the only place of my face i set as of right now so yeah the eye primer to prime like so and i'm super excited for eyes today because i'm gonna use my new indie brand shadows i want to like get a bigger palette because as you guys can see like this is very Full. um so i'm probably gonna do that soon i'm debating if i want to separate shadows because i right now i have all my shadows kind of just in one palette i have my divina um sydney grace um and now lethal and um terra moons all in one palette so i'm kind of debating if i want to like separate them I don't know if I do or, or what, but it would probably be wise being that there's so many of them. So I'm just going to set with a like matte white on my crease and my lid, just the whole eyelid. So to start off, I'm going to take this shade from Lethal, which I haven't used it, so I'm super excited. And this one's called Calcification. It looks like a good matte brown so i had to pick that up so let's see i've heard their mattes are really good Ooh, that is very nice like it's not like super um out there but it's also not like not if that makes any sense like it's a good like neutral it's like a cool tone brown i'd say i'm like going super ham in with it i don't like know what color store i'm going for today like i know what base color i want to use but other than that i don't just gonna take burnt orange and orange soda from the um that palette from soft glam kind of blend that and kind of give more like depth and warmth just because i don't want it to look super like cool 
but I also, I don't know. I just want to fix it because I feel like it's just not hit the vibe yet. It's just not the vibe. It does look good. Now it's like deciding, do I want to go in with the color I want to use on base, like bare, or do I want to put my glitter primer on? I kind of want to see like how it looks like all of about, but I don't know. Maybe I'll just put the glitter primer on just because like, just cause. I like pretty much always use glitter primer with like whatever basically pretty much of all shadows so there's that and then i want to take this i'm gonna take retrograde from lethal which i'm super excited i kind of wore the greens sweater to go with that and it's a really cool shade because it's a duo chrome so it looks purple but also looks green and stuff so i'm really excited to see how this looks on the lid i also got i haven't used the other shades either oh that is gorgeous so it'll be interesting i absolutely love like duo chromes or i think this is actually one of their multi chromes i can't quite remember i'm obsessed with how that looks and it's pigmented we love i put a little bit more on the lid definitely has like a green to purple like duochrome which i love i can't wait to use like the other shades i got like a pinky shade which you guys saw by the hole and i did swatch them in that video so you guys gotta get a like look at what to look like in that video but i am super excited to like actually wear these wear these okay that is gorgeous like i can't even get over how beautiful it looks I'm trying to decide if I want to do like more like do like a green on the outer corner but I think I might just leave it like this for today. I think it looks really good already and I kind of just want to put on like a nude lipstick today so I'm going to put on this Natasha Denona on that I've that I've come to love. And I'm also going to put my Patrick Ta gloss over it. I don't know what blush will go with this look because it's kind of like, so I don't want to use the typical. I'm going to use a door from Rare Beauty. It's like kind of pink, but like, but I could tone it down and I just want to keep getting use on this. Honestly, cream blushes are a lot easier to tone down anyways. And I think for highlight, I'm going to take my Natasha Denona Glow, which I had mentioned in a video very recently. I forget which one it was. Oh, I think it was on my 2020 Revisited Favorites. Love that video. But I said I need to start using this again because I kind of stopped using it because I had hit pan on this. Like, fairly quick. It's kind of my motive. I move. Whenever I hit pan on something I would, and it's unintentional, I like, and I love the product, I like to stop using it. Like, I avoid using it because I'm like, no, can't use it up. Nope, not gonna happen. And then for mascara, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes, which I love. Which you guys saw this in a, another video recently. my brows real quick which you guys know I just take my essence um brow gel and kind of comb off through my brows my brows are very overgrown as you can see just very overgrown I need to get them done but I keep just prolonging it so coming through it is and yeah this is the finished makeup i think it looks really cool with like the green sweater and that was kind of my plan this whole time i kind of wanted to do like a green with that i do want to use my other green with this which i'll probably have to do for like a reel or something because i want to get back into doing like makeup -y reels i was doing them like at least once a week and i haven't done them in a bit but i do i'm obsessed with how the hair looks with the sweater 
Like I just think it looked really, really good. And I just love the whole look and how it turned out. Especially obsessed with the eyes. We love it, love to see it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, let me know down below what, what videos you wanna see next, during Vlogmas, post Vlogmas, all that kind of fun stuff. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more Vlogmas. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow for yet again another Vlogmas video. Bye.